Did you know that your EV can also speed up to 200 miles per hour? Yes, just like a sports car. This is good news for car enthusiasts and speed chasers out there, and at the same time, our Tesla stockholders. In today's Tesla news, we have some exciting updates to share. Tesla has just released a captivating video introducing the upcoming Model S Plaid track package. We also have more updates about the Cybertruck and its new battery. Stay tuned and give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to Tesla Stock News. Initially, Tesla had advertised this top speed when they announced the Plaid model, but the delivered vehicles could only reach 163 miles per hour. To address this, Tesla offered a carbon ceramic kit for $20,000 in November 2021. A video featuring race car driver Sebastian Vettel driving a Model S Plaid equipped with the ceramic brake kit raised hopes that Tesla would start offering the upgrade to customers. The track package will be available for purchase next month and customers can conveniently buy it through the Tesla app. However, the new track package not only includes the brake kit, but it also adds a 20 inch zero gel wheel package with Goodyear Supercar 3R tires. Tesla will also offer the wheel and tire package separately for $8,220, starting in June. Several YouTubers in Europe have already been given access to this package and have posted reviews showcasing the Model S Plaid reaching speeds exceeding 200 miles per hour. Moving on to another update, Tesla has successfully achieved its goal of manufacturing 5,000 Model Y vehicles per week at Giga Texas. They had previously reached 4,000 Model Y units per week in early April, but the aim was always to hit the 5,000 mark for volume production at the Texas plant. To commemorate this milestone, Tesla posted a short video showcasing workers gathering outside the Giga Texas factory in celebration. The reason Giga Texas took slightly longer to reach the goal compared to Giga Berlin is that they have been developing the manufacturing process for Model Y vehicles using the advanced 4680 cells and structural battery packs. There is some uncertainty about the exact proportion of Tesla's new 46,680 Model Y production numbers, but it still seems that they're successfully ramping up the production of this technology. A positive sign is that the 4680 standard range Model Y can now be configured on Tesla's website. This is a significant development because for the longest time, it was only available in limited quantities through inventory. The 4680 cells were first introduced at Tesla's Battery Day event in 2020 with the promise of increasing battery longevity, power, and vehicle range. Regarding the 4680 cells, Tesla's reportedly moving forward with the expansion of their Caddo Road facility where they're being developed. New filings spotted by Tesla Roadie indicate that they're expanding their materials lab location, which has been undergoing modifications since 2021. The most recent filings came in late April. This expansion makes sense given their success of the new 4680 pilot plant. While Tesla plans to implement 4680 production lines at their Giga Texas and Giga Berlin factories in the long term, the place where they have been focusing on this technology the most is their Fremont Cato Road facility. It appears that they're succeeding and will continue to expand as they aim to produce a total of 1.8 million cars this year. However, one significant question remains. Will Tesla use 4680 cells in the Cybertruck initially? Although this was the initial plan, there are indications that this will be put on hold. While Tesla is expanding its 4680 development, they are aware of the massive demand that they have for battery cells in the upcoming years, which it cannot entirely supply itself. Therefore, they're still collaborating with suppliers and Panasonic has been working on their own 4680 cells. However, it seems that Panasonic is facing significant delays. They've postponed the volume production of the 4680 battery to introduce performance improvement measures. Mass production is now scheduled to begin between April and September of 2024, rescheduled from the initial plan of the first half of the fiscal year, ending in March 2025. This development is interesting because it implies a few things. First, Panasonic will not be able to assist with the initial production of the Cybertruck if Tesla moves forward with the 4680 cells. This means that Tesla will be reliant on its own cell capacity, which is currently being used in the base model of the Model Y in the US. Consequently, it leads to the speculation that the Cybertruck may initially ship with 2170 cells, similar to the adjustment Tesla had to make with the Giga Texas Model Y. Tesla had initially planned to manufacture their car exclusively with 4680 battery cells in Texas and Berlin, 
However, they're currently producing the 2170 Model Y in both factories, while the 4680 Model Y is only being made in Texas for now. Panasonic's 4680 sales have been previously reported to increase the range of Tesla's vehicles by 15%. If Panasonic successfully brings these cells into full production next year, Tesla could introduce the Model S with a range of 465 miles utilizing these cells. As for the Model Y, it could potentially reach close to 400 miles of range compared to the current top range of 330 miles. This significant range improvement would give Tesla a competitive edge and attract more customers. A 15% increase in range across Tesla's entire lineup once they transition to these cells would establish a noticeable advantage over their competitors. While Panasonic's cell production is experiencing delays, Tesla aims to remain competitive in the long term. Their approach is likely to involve making the battery pack 15% smaller, canceling out the range increase but reducing the cost of the battery pack. Elon Musk previously stated that even their 400 plus mile range cars offer more than what almost anyone requires for daily use. As a result, it may take a considerable amount of time before we see the 15% improvement in 4680 cells on the consumer side unless we closely monitor the developments. In recent news, the Cybertruck found itself stuck in a field in rural Texas, which does not bode well for this rugged all-wheel drive beast. Tesla has emphasized the off-roading capabilities of this truck since its announcement, with Elon Musk even hinting at its participation in the Baja 1000, a Mexican off-road race. The stranded Cybertruck seen in the field is the same prototype showcased during the groundbreaking ceremony for Tesla's new lithium refinery facility near Corpus Christi. Notably, there are Tesla employees gathered on the side of the road, appearing somewhat perplexed. While it's speculative to assume the cause of the breakdown, this incident raises questions about the potential issues with the prototype. However, it's worth noting that the truck in question lacked the appropriate tires for the job. The Cybertruck still has plenty to prove, and this sighting doesn't provide conclusive evidence about its capabilities. It's just another funny image of the Cybertruck in an unfortunate situation, similar to the infamous window break incident. In other news, there's an upcoming semi-truck competition later this year, and it's expected to be good news for Tesla and those interested in the electric semi. The competition, known as Run on Less, aims to showcase advancements in freight efficiency. Tesla's electric division will participate by presenting its electric semis, for which there is relatively little data available. At a previous Tesla Semi delivery event, they showcased a video of an 8-hour run between Fremont and PepsiCo bottling plant in San Diego. They claimed that the Semi started with a 97% battery charge and towed nearly 82,000 pounds for a 500-mile journey, ending with a 4% battery charge. A sustainability and technology director of the fleet at PepsiCo expressed excitement about participating in the event and sharing insights gained from their experience with these vehicles. The Tesla Semi's performance and efficiency data gathered during the event will be publicly available on the Run for Less website, allowing for real-world comparisons of efficiency and performance across different vehicles. The executive director of the North American Council for Freight Efficiency believes that the Tesla Semi will garner significant attention from trucking companies and fleet managers during the event. Tesla's involvement in this competition is a significant step for the company and the electric semi industry as a whole. Shifting gears, we have some updates from other automakers. The Kia EV9, which has been spotted testing in Southern California, seems even more impressive in person. This SUV, unveiled in March, is set to go on sale in the US later this year. Kia is set to release their second electric vehicle, the EV9, in the US later this year. With dual motors up to 379 horsepower, all-wheel drive, and a towing capacity of 5,000 pounds, the EV9 aims to make a splash in the competitive electric SUV market. It shares similar dimensions to the Kia Telluride and offers unique features like customizable star map LED daytime running lights. Pricing is expected to range from $55,000 to $60,000. Toyota's new CEO is bringing fresh perspectives as the company plans to invest more in electric vehicle technology. Their goal is to introduce 10 new battery electric vehicles and achieve 1.5 million EV sales annually by 2026. Toyota is developing a dedicated EV platform and focusing on three key areas, body and chassis, electronic systems and software. 
the upcoming next generation EVs expected in 2026 will have sportier designs and improve aerodynamics, helping Toyota catch up with other automakers in the electric vehicle transition. Fisker has achieved a major milestone by delivering its first Ocean SUV to a customer in Denmark. Priced at $68,999, this limited edition dual motor SUV offers an impressive range of 707 kilometers. Fisker aims to deliver all 5,000 units of the Ocean 1 edition by September's end. They're also working on more affordable models such as the Ocean Sport starting at $37,499. That ends this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next Tesla stock news video.